federal report confirms that hospitals across the country are still facing dire shortages in the face of the pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo shows us how some doctors are handling the challenges with creativity. Hospitals are scrambling to stock toilet paper, others looking to buy face masks from nail salons, and some have even bought expired personal protective equipment like gloves and gowns for its medical staff. Those are just some of the findings from this report by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General. We spoke with 323 hospitals and we had sort of an idea of what we might hear, but the range of strategies that hospitals had to employ to try to keep their staff safe and care for patients really surprised us. The survey was conducted over five days during the last week of March. We are reusing N95 masks. Um, unless they become visibly soiled. Dr. Sam Krass is an emergency physician at a Montgomery County hospital. He says his staff are trying to make do with the resources they have the best they can. But the reality is without the proper equipment and materials, they could be risking their own health and safety. It's frightening. We go to work, we are on the front lines and it's it's scary. This is on my mind throughout the day. Hospitals are, are asking for help. And the report also notes since its interviews from two weeks ago, some conditions in hospitals might have improved and some might have worsened. I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.